Bring that cutter in about nut high. There we go. DJ LeMayhew, diamond. Oh. Oh, this is gonna be... What is going on? What the f*** is going on? Holy sh**. Hey, how's it going everybody? For today's video, we're gonna be doing a DJ LeMayhew Finest debut. Now, I think one of the best things you could do to really try and get an understanding of how good this card could be is compare him to the finest Cattell Marte. Obviously, DJ LeMayhew is not a switch hitter. He is a righty, but he does have 10 more vision, one more contact, 10 more contact on left, with two more power on left, with only minus one in the power category versus right. If he has a good swing, this could be a very dirty card. The only downgrade compared to Cattell Marte is that he is not as quick. He has 51 speed while Cattell Marte has 75 speed. But in the defense apartment, you do take a huge upgrade, especially when Cattell Marte is playing out of secondary. Cattell has 75 fielding. DJ LeMay, who has 91 with a decent arm, good arm accuracy, and really good reaction. So... I mean, I'll be honest, he's one of my favorite players in real life, especially when he was a Colorado Rocky, not necessarily a Yankee, but I'm excited to use this card. Lastly, if memory does serve correct, he does have a pretty solid swing. It's not crazy good, but my issue with Cattell Marte lately is he has delivered absolutely zero exit velocity, and you see in the slugging numbers, he's only hit two home runs in 10 games, and he's just... You just can't get anything more than a single and a lot of lineouts. So the way our lineup's going to go, we're going to have Ken Griffey leading it off, playing in center field. DJ LeMahieu will hit in the two spot. I think that's a pretty well-deserved spot for this team. Cody Bellinger will still be our three-hitter. He's just so much fun to use and a really good fielder in right. Honus Wagner will be our four-hitter still. Babe Ruth slotted in the five spot, playing in left. Alex Bregman still at third. Had a terrible game last game. If you didn't see it, probably. I would recommend watching it for the Cody Bellinger debut, but... Turn off the camera when you look and see Alex Bregman coming up, Lou Gehrig hitting 7th, and Mike Piazza behind the dish hitting 8th. So we are currently rated 973. Let's go ahead and get right on into this. Our opponent for today is going to be MM3422. We got Garrett Cole on the mound. It only took a long time. So it's going to be very depressing if he does terrible. Obviously, our opponent's got a god squad. Again, Garrett Cole, let's not shark the bed Please. Like I said, this is my first time using Garrett Cole. May he be throwing complete doits and gas. Let's run this two seam in under the nips. That should be a good one. Jammed him. All right, that's not, that is exactly not the start you want to see from Garrett Cole. We do not want to see any more late hits. Not even late, very late. All right, not an ideal start whatsoever. And then we hang a change up. Oh, dear. Yeah, not, oh, buddy. All right, well, a late hit and then a hanging fastball first and second nobody out this man's giving up 10 runs this is not good oh his two seam sucks i can't cont i gotta stop throwing that two seam man i gotta go to his four seam all right so every time there's a late hit let's try and regroup every time there's a late hit man the inning goes to complete buns and we should have just went to the four seam the whole time and uh Yep, at least part of it's on me. The other part of it, terrible luck. Per usual, anytime I'm excited to use literally anybody, it all goes bad. And it's going to keep getting better. Another late hit. Let's go. Considering the hits that I've given up already, two late hits, I would imagine we're playing on Hall of Fame. And it's going to keep getting better. All right, the Garrett Cole debut turning into an absolute nightmare. Could have already been out of this jam. Probably no runs allowed. And like I said, the late hits always, always amount to absolute nightmare. And then we throw another changeup down the middle. <laughs> All right, it's getting... Garrett Cole's probably not making it out of the first inning. And thankfully, we get to hose somebody out of probably the computer's mistake. No more late hits on the changeups. I, I guess I already know what pitch I'm going to be going to a lot with Garrett Cole. Changeups in the dirt, but not before we've given up four runs. What an absolutely beautiful debut for our guy. Ken Griffey, first pitch swinging. You always love to see that, so that's going to be routine out number one. We never learn from our mistakes. D 
DJ LeMayhew got a pitch down the meat. And do not tell me we're going to start off with an amazingly deep flyout for DJ LeMayhew's debut. All right, considering the start, I think we're going to get mercy. Good, good, 102. Eh, not the start you want to see from Garrett Cole. Not the start you want to see from Cody Bellinger. Not the start you want to see from DJ LeMayhew either. Should be a good slider. Oh, my God. Can you... I can't believe it. It wasn't a ridiculous hit. All right, Garrett Cole, locked down. Oh, Jesus Christ. Glad to see my good squares aren't doing anything. And this man, late, early, anything in between, cannot, cannot get out. Garrett Cole probably isn't making it. Oh, dude, don't help him. Don't help him. Oh, yes. As we get for being over aggressive, we get bailed out. And our opponent has eight hits, three of them gigantic question marks. Let's try and square up the ball two more times. And please, dear God, at least let us get one run. That should be a base hit, assuming it's a base hit. Bregman is going to... Uh, like I said, our luck this game so far. Fat yikes. We're going to go ahead and throw the change up inside. Hopefully catch him being over aggressive. Exactly what we got. Got him to swing over the top of it. Out number two. Feel like it's beyond obvious we're going fastball, but it doesn't matter. Old Faithful gets the job done. We're settling it down with Garrett Cole. Now that we got a one, two, three inning, I think, and I say this heavily sarcastic, we're going to get a run this inning. Oh, come on. Give me something stupid. Nope. Routine fly out. And then we were like 20 years out in front of that. So that is, uh, oh, we are so screwed. We're going to roll that one over with Griffey. So at least this inning, totally understandable why we didn't get a hit. That inning was to be, sh we sucked. We definitely looked awful that inning, but Hey, all I can ask for is when I'm getting the same inputs from my opponent, I get the same results as that one is out. Number one, that should be a good change up on the outside corner. All right, maybe I should stop throwing the change up because uh, it's 5-0. That one was definitely a well-deserved home run. No complaints from me. Let's go fastball. Oh, dear God. I'm going to go with uh, Garrett Cole. Ain't as good as I was ever hoping to be. But, I mean, I'll still give him another chance in another game after this one because, I mean, it could be the same thing as with uh, James Paxton. Use James Paxton against Cougs. Could not locate to save my life. The next game, the man throws a one-hitter through nine. Should be a good changeup, I think. And a broken bat, not a late hit. Let's go. That should be another good change on the outside corner. Gets him to miss it. Routine fly ball for Babe Ruth. Hey, come on, man. You're not. You're slim thick, man. You got to run to the ball. There's still plenty of baseball. And LeMahieu, two deep flyouts to center field. What a debut. I'll take a stupid hit. Nope. Kershaw. Oh. Oh, yes. Here's our inning. I say that. Double plays next. Or not a double play. Another line out. Ah, oh, yeah. We're, we're having fun. I was just about to say, you know, it'd be fun. Another line out. But a hard hit ground ball. At least that's deserved. There's a mistake. And we're live. Like I said, we are definitely going to need to make sure this game stays a 5-0. to zero. There could be an inning where everything just turns around. Good squares don't. Never mind. It ain't happening. Uh, there's a double play. DJ LeMayhew, at least even though the man keeps rocking Kershaw not getting hits, he could at least have a good glove. Turn two. Let's try and get one. Bregman the other way. Holy sh**. We got to run. Lou Gehrig base hit up the middle. If this man doesn't come around to score, I am going to be pissed. Oh, tell me Mike just delivered another full-blown mustache ride. Like I said, here is our inning. And Garrett Cole, I'm sorry, buddy, but you have not done well. You've gotten us through five. We need the runs. Big dick. Frank, here he comes. Frank, the other way, I think that is not deep enough. 125 power. The man swings a noodle. 
And, okay, we tried so hard to beat this shift, but we hit it into it. Get ourselves a single. Anyways, we could tie up the game one. Swing of the bat. LeMayhew, you've had two very deep flyouts. You're due. DJ, these nuts tell me that is a flyout. Damn it. Come on, Cody B. Make your girl scream and make me cream. This is your time. This is your time. Just please, please. Cody B is making me scream and making me cream. Tied game. Oh, all right, well. At least it let us tie up the game before that came back. Let's go cutter over the plate. Yep, yeah, that's... That's an out. I mean, hopefully he should become a budget B soon and... Oh my god, how did you just miss that? This is what I was hoping Garrett Cole would do, which is throw absolute doits. Damn it, that just missed. Come on, we need two solid innings out of you, Chief. Get us that routine ground ball over to Bregman. We got, I think, our first one, two, three inning of the day. And it didn't come from Garrett Cole. Babe! Oh, dude, that is a screamer. Line drive. Grazed the wall probably on the way out. Home run. As I... <sighs> Alright, we're still going to get the base hit. That's all that matters. That's Mike! Please just go out of play. Well, no, we... Yep, nice. Tony Gwynn has been nothing but clutch off the bench. And he's going to continue it. And that thing died once they hit the mound. First and second. Ken Griffey, I would imagine. Here comes a lefty. Griffey, tell me! I already know. DJ LeMay, he was done it a bunch. Fly out. 0-2. Oh, Dots and Amish. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah! Come on, Raleigh. Another one, two, three. Uh, don't say anything even remotely, even not even neutral. Be negative, only negative. Good things happen. We're giving up the lead. Come on, reverse psychology. Case in point, you never get disappointed when you are negative. Line drive. This. Thank God. Base hit. Cody Ballinger into the gap. That is definitely into the gap. Get going with your 51 speed LeMayhew. Dude, like I said, Cody Ballinger, we could have honestly turned that into a triple, but I wasn't paying attention because he f Cody Ballinger is probably going to be my right fielder for a while. That man, beautiful swing. And uh, speaking of beautiful swings, don't look. Ah. Uh. Fork ball low, just out of the zone. Hopefully, give him to swing over the top or throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing positive is ever being said again. You know why? Look at that. You get mad and everything just goes your way. It's it's fantastic. Soto. Oh. Oh. If I said Soto is an absolute beast or something, that man was hitting 500 foot moonshot. Yeah, that's how you want to start it off. Teddy ball game, base hit up the... Well, you know what? He did not need to dive. So, still a base hit. Griffey! What the f***? Why was I surprised by that play? Was it because it was Lou Gehrig? Or was it because... I mean, I should not have been surprised considering... Here we go. This is going to be like last game. An early, early hit leads to a two-run shot. LeMahieu can come up and walk us off. Jesus Christ, it's not even early. Very early, very nice. Sinker up and in, good fit. The, the lates and earlies this game have always led to a nightmare. There's the first out. I mean, again, good news. DJ LeMahieu has a chance to be a hero. Bad news. The man's had terrible luck. Bring that cutter in about nut high. There we go. DJ LeMahieu, diamond. Oh. Oh, this is gonna be... What is going on? What the f*** is going on? Holy sh**. I am sitting there trying so hard, desperately, to get, just to make him run. And none of them are running. I can only throw the ball. Until DJ LeMayhew got the ball in his hands, did any of them have the right sense to just run at the runner? And it wouldn't happen. This game, DJ LeMayhew walk it off, please. Nice. 
No, no. Like I said, there, there is no such thing as a check swing for me in this game. Everyone else check swings like a f***ing champ. Yeah, it should be a good slider. Come on, good pitch. There's two, and surprisingly, there wasn't an there. I don't like his changeup. I love it because it worked. And Lemayhew again didn't make an error. Surprisingly, let's walk it off. That was a one-two-three inning. Let's take our breather. Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. Oh. Well, we smoked it. This third base spot is becoming a struggle. I don't know who I'm going to put there. Maybe I should put Hornsby there. But Bregman, all the... This is going to be a long, very long game. Slider, just... Uh, come on. I got it. Yeah, like I said, I can't check swing to save my life. But everybody else, they took they took the, the, the check swing champion classes. Get out of my box. This game is going to drive me up a damn wall. That should be it. <laughs> We're losing. That should be a good cutter away, good pitch. And just, if we could rob this, that would be... That would be great! Let's go, oh no. I should have been attacking my opponent a lot more this game in terms of bringing the fastball in. Hopefully, we can... Let's get a good inning. Mike, that a boy doubled down the line, although... Unhook the trailer, 45 speed. Get on your horse. Holy. He's safe. Can't be missing that. If we had a productive out last at bat, that would have been great. And DJ Lee Mayhew has a chance to be the hero. So, uh, eh, we're screwed. DJ, oh, Jesus, yeah. Who would have guessed the line-out would have been the ending to this game? At the end of the day, Garrett Cole, the bed. And then uh, after that, I mean, even then, like I said, the, any late or early hit happened to lead to a run every single time for my opponent. So just unfortunate luck, but also it's not to take anything away truly from him. He did hit for the most part fairly well as well. Real Muto for him went three for five, two tanks. Ozzy Albi surprisingly did well. Josh Bell hit that home run. And uh, Cody Bellinger would have been our player of the game for sure with three for five, a home run, a double. Mike Piazza had that clutch double. Fortunately, after that, line outs and terrible at bats. Hopefully, you guys get better luck than me. As always, thank you guys for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's content, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Y'all have a good day. Thank you.